coming up in this video. Okay, and how will you be paying for this? Um, yeah, go ahead and put it on my card. Okay, I'll go ring this up. Wow, I guess Mitch was right. Okay, that's it. But my manager says that because this is a big transaction, I'll need to see your ID. Eleanor? Hey, Skip, what's happening? Oh, hey, Mitch, how's it going? Dude, I've got something to show you. Oh, dude, did you get a phone or something? Yeah, dude, I got the latest Samsung. It's got all the new stuff. Oh, that's so cool. You got the three cameras and everything. I'm more of an iPhone guy myself, but I only got the four. Dude, they got like the 13 now. Why don't you get one of those? Those are like a thousand bucks or something. I don't have money for that. Dude, neither do I, but I got my grandpa to pay for it. Wow, your grandpa must be really generous. No, man. He didn't buy it for me. I just borrowed his credit card. Wait a minute. Is he going to find out when he sees the credit card bill? Come on, man. He's so old. He doesn't look at it. He just pays it. Man, I wish I could do that, but I don't have a grandpa. Wait, you got a grandma. I just saw her in the house with your mom. So you're saying I should use my grandma's card to get the new iPhone? Dude. Who's going to get more use out of the new iPhone? You or your grandma? She's probably not even on social media. Huh. You know, I never really thought about it that way. Yeah, you know what? Stop thinking and go get it. No, wait. You're right. Skip wants a new iPhone 13. And his friend Mitch knows just how to get one. Are you sure you want this much lime juice? The recipe only calls for half a cup. It needs more flavor. Okay. Mitch, there you are. Skip, you gotta get one of these. Really? What is it? It's a chai latte with hazelnut and oat milk and extra foam. I like to call it Mitch's Brew. <laughs> I'm sure they don't call it that here, but that does look expensive. Dude, it didn't cost anything. I loaded my grandpa's card on this. Well, let me show you what I got. Nice fashion accessory, dude. <laughs> it's my grandma's purse. There's got to be a credit card in here. It's like a suitcase for her. She always has like so much stuff in there. Uh, not this. Not this. Score. Yeah, that's it. There's got to be a credit card in there. Bingo. Here we go. iPhone 13. Here I come. And think about it, dude. You're doing your grandma a favor. I am? Yeah. She's gonna earn airline miles. All right, catch you later. Mitch's brew. Forgot my grandma's purse. Hi, I'd like to get an iPhone 13. Okay, but we're all sold out except for the 256 gig space gray model. Really? Yeah, that's fine. Here it is. Would you like us to set up a plan for this? Um, plan? Um, no, I already have a plan and an old phone. Okay, and how will you be paying for this? Um, yeah, go ahead and put it on my card. Okay, I'll go ring this up. Wow, I guess Mitch was right. Okay, that's it. But my manager says that because this is a big transaction, I'll need to see your ID. Eleanor? Uh... Um, that's, that's my grandma. She's, um, she's out in the car. Well, she's gonna need to come into the store and show ID. Stealing grandma's credit card didn't work as well as Skip thought it would. What will he do next? Have you seen my purse? Yeah, it's in the family room on the sofa. That's what I thought, but it's not there. It's gotta be. I'll go get it for you. They took the card away and now I can't get the iPhone. Well, do you still got the purse? Yeah, right here. Well, let's look for another card. Here it is. Man, she doesn't have any more. Well, look for some cash. 
Dude, there's only like 60 bucks here. Well, check the change part. Maybe there's some gold coins in there or something. Man, there's like hardly any money in there. Yeah, but what's this? I don't know, but let's open it up. Dude, it's a ring! That's my grandma's ring! Dude, you can get a lot of money for that. Sell my grandma's ring? Really? Well, she doesn't wear it. It's in her purse. Yeah, she doesn't wear it anymore because of grandpa. Well, it sounds like you'll get more use out of a phone than she does out of this ring. Really? Am I supposed to take this to some pawn shop or something? Dude, put a fake one in there. She'll never know. Um, excuse me, is this the pawn shop? We prefer the term jewelry and loan, but yes, we do buy used jewelry. Okay, um, I would like to sell this ring. Uh, yeah, I might be interested. Let me see it. Oh, it's you again. Did you bring a different card this time? No, I brought cash. Do you still have that phone? That's a lot of cash. Where did Skip get that money? Mitch, how do I get this thing to work? That's easy. Where's your old phone? <sighs> all right, now all I gotta do is get the SIM card out. <sighs> Here it is. Now give me your new phone. What is this? Skip has a new phone on our account? Hey, Mom. Oh, how are you, Nana? There you are, Skip. Where'd you get that phone? Uh, 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 oh, Mitch got this for me. Is it your friend Mitch who stole my purse? And is he the one using her credit card? Someone's using your credit card? That's awful, but they'll give you a new one, right? Wait a minute. Nana's purse is missing from this house. Someone tried to buy a cell phone with her credit card, and now you have a cell phone? Is there something you would like to tell me? I'm sorry. Okay, it wasn't my idea. It was Mitch's suggestion, I swear. My wedding ring that my husband gave me 42 years ago was in that purse. What happened to it? This ring looks really familiar. I mean, at least this model. How much do you want for it? Um, well, I'm trying to buy a new iPhone. <laughs> the new iPhone? Aren't those like $1,000? Well, actually closer to $1,100 with tax. Fine. Here's your money. Pleasure doing business with you. How am I going to get my ring back? It's worth a lot more than a silly little cell phone. I I'll, I'll go back to the pawn shop and give them the money and make them give me back the ring. I went to the pawn shop. They call it jewelry alone. And it's not there anymore. Uh, I am so sorry. I'll, I'll work it off and I'll buy you a new one. Oh, really? You're going to buy me a brand new ring to replace the one that your grandfather gave me before we were married. I am so sorry. I am going to regret this my whole life. I'm sure you will. But before we're done here, there's someone I want you to meet. Really? This is my high school classmate, Ben Clifton. It's you! That's right. I'm the guy that bought the ring from you. Why did you tell my mom? And how did you know it was my Nana's? He's been our jeweler for years. I take my ring in there for cleaning. You owe me a thousand bucks. You know what? I'll just take that iPhone instead. The phone? <sighs> okay. This is mine, and this is yours. Look, I got my ring back. That's wonderful. And for you, you're not getting an iPhone 13. In fact, you're not gonna have a phone. I'm canceling your cell plan. Skip let Mitch convince him that stealing an iPhone 13 wouldn't hurt anyone. Turns out, his actions had big consequences. Remember, Stealing isn't just wrong, it often hurts the people we love most. If you like this video, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to see all the new ones. Bye! This sitter comes highly reviewed, 
Mom knows she can leave the girls in confidence. Look, you two, I need you to know that I'm in charge and I have rules. Number one, no annoying the sitter. Golden rule number two, do everything that I say. Rule number three, make your own food. Like I even have to tell you that. And rule number four, kids are not allowed to touch the remote, ever. So, as long as you follow the rules, I'll be happy and we'll all have fun. Now go do the dishes. Go! Ah, <sighs> now where's the remote?